Hey guys, Hasib here. Hope you all are doing well. Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a high converting top section for your landing page using Go High Level. So if you're creating landing pages on Go High Level, the top section or what we call the hero section of that landing page is really important because statistically speaking, almost 70% of the traffic don't usually scroll down and they convert if they want to convert or if they want to leave their details from the top section. So that's really, really important to create using the best methods of conversion rate optimization. And I'm going to show you how you can create that using Go High Level. So make sure you subscribe and join our group if you want, because I share free resources like almost every day there. So make sure you're there and let's get started. Let's uh, start by creating a blank funnel. So I'm going to call it uh, just uh, maybe top section funnel, you know, just to create the top section, nothing else. And when the funnel has been created, we are going to create a new landing page. We're going to call it just landing page. That's all. And once we create the landing page, we are going to edit it in a new tab. All right, guys, so the builder has fully loaded. Now, before I begin, this layout I'm showing you, this works for any kind of local business, guys. So this is actually a lead generation landing page top section for e-commerce or for any other kind of business or any other business with a goal, different goal. I'm not too sure, but for local businesses, I've used it so many times and I can I can guarantee that this will work for any kind of local business, right? So let's begin with using a full width section. And this is the new Go High Level Builder, by the way. I'm not using the previous one anymore because that's, I think they've uh, gotten rid of it. So right now I'm using this uh, section and inside that I'll take a one column row and inside that I'll take a paragraph. So this, this paragraph is about the offer and this is the top bar that you see in, on any landing page any good landing page when you land on it so this pay this will say like uh maybe 200 off right so this is the offer guys this is offer and i'm gonna go with 16 and now let's just get rid of some extra padding so I'm going to say four. This one will be four as well. The column, I need to give it like a two. Two. Okay, cool. Now let's give it a color. So this color will be, for example, this, right? And we need to make it a bit bold. If you want, uh, like if you want to change the font, you can do it from here. So I'm going to go with Poppins. That's my favorite font so far. For text and heading, I'm using the same heading. Uh, sorry, same font, but you can use different, uh, different stuff if you want. So on desktop, there's a 18 pixel font size. On mobile, if you want to decrease it, just decrease it by maybe maybe make it 16 or something you know doesn't matter really and let's get on with the second section this is the offer guys so if it if it goes like a 200 off on your first service get in touch with us today or something you know so just, this is where you will describe the offer the second section we will just click on this plus and take another full width and this time instead of taking one column we'll take two columns right two column section and here this will be the content section this will be the form section right so let's let's just uh get started with the section so we are gonna we are gonna make this a bit more spacey so i'm gonna go with 50 50 or actually let's do it like 30 it's fine 30 okay and this whole section will have an image and if if you can manage a blurry image that's that works best because it's gonna be covered with stuff anyway so you don't have to really 
uh, worry about like having a super good image you know just have something that's authentic not stock so let me find an image to put here all right guys so i'll click on this section now and go to this image section okay if i upload it from here this is the background image i'm using guys and instead of saying parallax i'm just gonna give it full center so now let's start by creating the, the left section so this will be i'm gonna start by having a bullet list and this will be a one item bullet list i'm gonna say serving location and this is gonna be the location of the business and all surrounding areas okay cool and before i begin uh, sorry before i proceed with uh creating this entire thing i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give this section a bit of uh, dark overlay so if i go to background color i'm gonna give it black and here in image opacity i'm gonna give it like half fade or maybe light fade just give it half fade right so this will be a bold version and i'm gonna make it white with the icon and text color as well the icon needs to change so the icon will be map map pin this one okay cool so the bullet list has been created and uh, i need to get rid of the left margin it has so it sticks with the left wall next element is the headline and this headline will be uh this will be the headline with the value proposition guys so uh nice headline or just don't don't use uppercase nice headline the reason why i'm not putting anything static is because this landing page works with any kind of local business so i'm not using any specific business type while uh, showing you this demo so just go with 48 for mobile uh you can go with like something like 32 it's fine that works nice and it needs to be left aligned also it needs to be white cool and in advanced just give it 1.4 nice or you can give it 1.32 uh, uh, if you like so i'll give it 1.3 for now nice the next section will be a paragraph or a subheadline. So I'm, I'm going with a subheadline, which works like a paragraph. So we will say company name. Again, guys, this is a demo, so don't worry about these customized things I'm using. So uh, company name is your ultimate solution to uh, service name in location and uh, get a free estimate within 24 hours whatever sounds compelling guys so it will be left aligned and the it's fine just put it 20 or something yeah okay that works fine and maybe give it a bit of uh, 60 40 and it needs to have a bottom padding right so have a 16 pixel bottom padding with uh this will this will also have a bottom padding so let's call it 12. okay cool next one will be a, a, another bullet list so i'm going to just copy this one from here to this part over here and instead of map pin i'm going to say tick so i'm going to go with this one 10 year workmanship financing options available and uh, residential and commercial services you know just put odd numbers of bullet lists in this part and i'm gonna go with 1.4 cool nice one if you don't want to use bold just go with the normal make sure you are having the color changed here as well for normal that's all okay cool now 
let me save it real quick and we need to get rid of some padding from here so i'm gonna say 10 okay cool now let's uh save it and go back and create the form the form can be created inside the form section so i'm gonna start one from scratch and let's just uh rename this to local business form something you know and there's this is the template and here i'm gonna get rid of uh some of the stuff like uh the corner radius should be one for the fields for this button we'll say estimate uh yes i want a free right okay this will be that uh one pixel corner and now i need to increase the height of these fields so i'm gonna go with a uh, 14 14 and i need to get rid of the shadow the box shadow you know so i'm gonna do zero and zero good the box shadow is gone if you want to put more questions like uh you know what kind of service do you need how old is your roof you know stuff like that make sure you ask those because these actually qualify the leads so you don't get you don't end up getting shitty leads you know so uh, i'm gonna also get rid of the labels and additionally what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come over here and put a text over here so let's say claim your offer this will be Poppins right just to middle align this but just put 28 okay yeah just something you know and if you want to have a paragraph in, uh, under this text just drag another text and do it for now I'm just gonna use this form come back and I'm gonna say local business form this one that I just created right okay cool save the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a testimonial over here so this works like a buffer and this motivates the person to uh leave their details you know so i have created one using canva this is a template so i'm going to just download this but uh feel free to go to canva and just sign up for a free account and create something like this there's there are thousands of templates that you can use for testimonials so once you've done downloading it you can upload it as an image so go high level doesn't let you do like advanced designs like wordpress or stuff so that's why i've created an image of a testimonial and i'm putting it here just so something is here you know all right so make sure you use some like some stuff with good padding and margin of just i'm just showing you guys that's all so that's done this is the hero section one last thing we need to do is create the header so let's create a new section full width that's fine and i'm gonna take it up top this will consist of three columns okay the first one or four maybe let's let's just duplicate this so this will be a four column row the first one will have the logo so image and i'm putting it putting something over here like um you know something at least so this works let's just get rid of the unnecessary paddings okay cool and okay the next one will be some of the nav menu so let's look at the navigation menu i'm gonna get rid of uh i'm gonna get rid of this logo from here because i already have the logo so i don't want it here logo in menu you know business name can be removed as well and one more thing we need to do is create the font size to like 16 horizontal spacing will be 16 okay cool 
and this will like have menus this will actually not take you to other pages instead what this will do is this will take you to this different sections of this landing page right so i'm gonna say reviews and guys this is not this is not the actual section uh id uh the actual section id you can find after you create the section just come to the section and go to advanced and copy this you know this way you can get the actual section id so i'll, I'll call this reviews you know and uh, about and get in touch just have three sections this also creates uh helps you create the site links for google ads if you know what i mean um again let's create an image this will be the google review section like a badge for google reviews so i'll just use this one for now great cool and finally let me just uh, make this a bit okay let me create another section over here with a subhead line so i'll say call for an instant quote this will be like 18 cool now another one will be the headline this is this is the phone number right That's all. That's all we need to create and make this a bit prettier. I'm not showing you the entire thing, but uh, yeah, this is this is the structure really. And make sure you use a bit more prettier uh, heading and margin. And for mobile, these columns will be hidden. All these. And this one as well. So in mobile, all you can see this is this logo, right? and yeah that's that's all guys that's all for uh creating a high converting top section for your landing page you know let me know how you feel about this let me know how it looks and yeah let me know in the comments really so that's all and make sure you subscribe and have a good day cheers <laughs>